Alright guys, we're back. I'm going to do Crash again since she stepped in ants yesterday and so that ruins her whole episode. She wants to redo it. So I just have various objects that she naturally gets. I mean, honestly, now when I do the elliptical, I have to lock her and shoe bottom in the garage or it's just bringing me every blanket on the couch. I can't even do it. This is one hour. I tell them and they finally fall asleep. But I just have, these are just various things. And she understands, I'm just going to use that platform down there as kind of the second location. So in her mind, she's kind of operating, you know, she knows she's not going way out there, that it's on this side of some kind of physical marking spot, if that makes any sense. All right, so remember, I had put the, let me make sure the ants are gone. That was the same place I had it yesterday. I can try to make it better by putting two things there. That will make it more obvious. That's a little stuff advantage puppy. And this is the remote. You know, if you said, well, really rub your hand on it, that's why they grab it. Yeah, that's what I think. Oh, this is a little card I got from my niece, Katie. So she finds stuff like that too. Oh, any little cards. Oh, she would do the Kleenex thing. Oh, any little balls. Oops. And I can put the dumbbells. And then just like a little, see, any little collar. That was an old fur saver I found. Yeah, any little remote controls. what happens to all my glasses. So I'm just going to tell you, the dog is immediately activated just by putting the collar on. And if you said, how do you get around that? I don't, I don't guess, I don't think you do. I'm, 
So if you said, well, how do you send it? I apparently now understand you send it with vibration beams. And I, I should have moved the wagon. I should have smelled the, oh, and I smelled that bowl. her favor. So now she's going to have to remember, and she's looking for the direct path. She's completely disoriented. <laughs> oh, right here, guys. Now she's going to have to remember, and I'm going to have to help her travel far away. And you said, why? Well, you can't force them to go over the amber. <laughs> Any more than you can force them to come do it. I do touch her, it's only incidental that you happen to bump into me. I wasn't reaching for you. All right, my job is stare. Oh, mommy's glasses, Cash. Mommy needs her glasses. Unfortunately, you two chewed the lenses out of these. These were the ones I put on shoe bottom that one time. She needs this and the wig. I mean, come on, these are cute dog glasses. Hi. Oh my God, that was some guy I just friended on Facebook. Here's an idea, dude. Bye. Jesus Christ. she bumped into the road. So she is going by tactile. She knows that's there. She, I'm surprised she doesn't bring me that. I think she smells that chain, maybe. If you said, what's the hardest thing going to be? That bowl way down there, because she's going to have to travel outside the search zone. There's two things right there. Well, that place is all loaded up. There's actually three things there. Oh, crash. crash. You can learn to do jumps, crash. Oh, that doesn't bother her. Crash, you could be in a dog food commercial, crash. You could like a certain kind of food. Not every kind of food like you are. In the commercial, you're special and you're like a certain kind. And you only get your bowl when it's that kind. And you're blind and dead. That may be too much. Crash may be too far ahead of her time. That's what Crash is. Don't you understand? Crash is ahead of her time. Oh, it's like I gotta send her back. And if you said, how do you do that? Look that way. Crash. Card crash. Oh, crash loves getting the card. Oh, crash loves the card. Crash. She knows it dropped. Watch. 
she feels it on her foot. Okay, she's back to work. All right, so there's still a remote control. I just have to send her back to that same area. And that's my stock response to her looking at my face. I just pull my head away and she goes back to work. I have to send her back to the same area. If she looks in there, she's going to find that thing. Oh, Crash. Crash knows we don't watch TV, though. Oh, I'm awful. All right, so I have to send her back to that uh, slide over there. There's my stock reaction. Okay, so I still have two things, I think. There might be something by that other slide, but I've got that chain right there in the middle. Oh, she got the little dog. <laughs> Crash, I forgot the little dog was there. You're so special, Crash. So, what I ended up, you know, if you said, well, you put three things in the same place and that helped. No, totally. Totally. Get a little kid. Hide the, my parents had the Easter egg every year in the same planner. There was always one Easter egg in the same planner. We looked there every year. There was one there every year. And this is where I've had to start drawing the line, I told you. After the hurricane crash, I had a long time. This stuff isn't getting any. I actually thought she smelled that bowl. So she's going to lay down a minute, and then she's going to get up and go. If I'm good enough. Mike, uh, do I have telekinesis? Is it because I believe anybody that had any interest in dog behavior should find that interesting? And if you said it's a coincidence, I thought that the first 75 times too. All right, now I have to do the long send away. And because that is outside the search zone, if you said, what do you have going for you? You do have memory. If she would remember that she dropped it over there, I do think, yeah, I was going to say, oh, yeah, there was something else right there. I can't see it from here. You are the monkey of mommy's life, Crash. So to make it easier, my job is to maybe first move this one. Jockey the handler to right here.
She's going every bit worse. I see that. Oh, no, it's fine now. Oh, no, crash. That's not going to cut it. All right, what I'm going to do is reduce the dish. I'm going to move that, if I can even get away from her, if I can distract her for a minute. I'm going to move it back into the search area and see if I can do the... I can't... She does have a lot of memory. Either that or Molly go get it. But she can follow a track too, so let me see. here. Uh, so if I can get her to go on that line right to that thing. If Molly doesn't... Oh, there you go. Crash, oh, crash, are you all right? So I don't know, Mike, if you said it was a track or it was an energy trail. Incidentally, my hand happened to be there. She bumped into it. There's no trying to poke at her at all to get her attention. Hi, Peter. Oh, Peter, I hope this freaks you out. All right, watch, Peter. I'm going to do a recall just for Peter. As soon as she's doing the high stepping thing, that shows her intention. All right, let me see. She might do her new trick. I've had to stop practicing, though, Mike. She's just wearing me out. Oh, I'm just on the elliptical. It's just... Let's see if she'll do it. She's just going to go with her Halloween. This is kind of the precursor, maybe. She always tries this one first. And I think that's what you have to understand. They're saying to themselves, well, what if this works? If you... if. If you never said, I know, that's not doing it for me right now. Okay, that's another precursor. That's that's when this I want you to understand I'm on the elliptical. She's swiping at me, so I'm I'm, you know, doing it like heightened reality. I'm trying to get away from wolves. Crash is swiping at me. I'm trying to keep my leg away from it. It's awful. All right, here it comes. It's coming. That, that's not working. Now she's saying swipeo isn't working. She's building up. Look at her face. Yeah, she's thinking about it. There's it's in there. The behavior is somewhere in this sequence. It's getting ready to happen. I can see it. <laughs> that was it. Now watch. It's going to happen again now. That's a precursor to it. You've got to... You've got to know what's what's in the sequence. And if you see any of those things, then just give it a second. And she's trying to give me this stick now. That's when I stick. And that doesn't work either. 
I had to, Mike. After the hurricane, I couldn't pay for every stick. We don't have that many treats. All right, it was there. You saw it. It's going to happen again here. It's, it's fixing to. There's a precursor. Swiping doesn't work, and that's how it came about. Swiping didn't work. Laying down didn't work. I couldn't give her a treat when she was laying down. No, that's a, that's a precursor. That's snapping at me. She said, where are you going with that? Oh, I don't know. <sighs> all right, she knows all her obedience. Hang on. She's got all the turns. She does everything just like the other ones. Hang on. But I got to get her oriented on my leg first. So that was my pager. She's going to do the bunny hop thing again. And if you said, what was it doing? She's kind of doing it with all four feet. All right, let me get her. I can show you. She can do the tight turns just like these other dogs. So I just got to get it right on my leg. Okay, good. There, boom. 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 She said that doesn't look like the other one. Exactly like all the other ones. That's the crazy part. All right, hang on, hang on. And this is just a stripped down dog. If you said this is just a dog with the engine. All right, hang on, I'm gonna get her off of there first. <laughs> all right, good. When she's on my leg, good. There we go, bam, bam, bam. And when we go this way, bam. We have to practice as much this way back. And then back on the platform. Yeah, that was kind of scary. All right, and then she can, I want you to know, I do understand a lot more about the vibration now. I'm going to drop this bowl, and she's going to know it. <laughs> If you said how fast did it react to that, very, very fast. She, that's people calling, that's what happens. So I do understand if we are saying that they can react to vibrations like that. All right, watch. Crash. Crash, I never loved a little dog more than I love you. So she can't really feel it. She's feeling it in the air. Well, if she's on the ground, she's feeling it in her feet. But if she's up there, watch though. She's right on it. You said she's zoning in. If you said she's sonaring in on that vibration, I would say I believe that. You know, for anybody that has any interest in dogs, not to find this interesting, I would question their level of interest. And if I do, I can put this right here. She did mistake that. Now she knows now. <laughs> she mistook it for going on the ground. Let me see what happens if I drop it here. And this thing's big. Crash. I want you to know Peter's your fan, and he lives in the Netherlands, I think, or in Holland, or I think in the Netherlands, and they've got a lot of good dog trainers there, Crash. And he's your fan, Crash. All right, watch.
Yeah, it's a very, very interesting case. Anybody that said this is not an interesting case, it, it doesn't get more interesting than this. It's a totally stripped down dog. If you said this dog would be forced to do anything, how could you force it to do anything? How would you even go about it? <laughs> yeah, how would you even go about it? Forcing it to do anything. <laughs> I don't even know how you could. All right, let me drop it behind her. Right, she might have been too far away for that. Hang on. Watch. He said, what is she following? If I had to guess the track from earlier. Crash is actually a kennel assistant. She's gotten a job. She gathers up all the balls and nachos and bumpers, knock over. If you said, well, how often does that? All day long. Mm. You know. If the methodology that I'm using works on a blind deaf dog, you cannot dismiss a methodology that works on a blind deaf dog, I don't think. And if you said, I don't see any consistency between this one and that, no, my answer would be not. Anyway, guys, hang on. I'll be right back.